immediately tried to punch through one of the windows. I couldn't and went and was able to get out that passenger back door, undid her really quick, got her in my arms and blocked her from the fire and ran through the briars to safety. And God had to have been with us. I mean, if I was unconscious or pinned in, you know, even for 30 seconds, I mean, I don't think we'd be here. I mean, our car immediately caught on fire and it took probably all of 30 seconds to a minute for that to completely melt everything in inside the vehicle before the um, fire truck could get there. I mean, I'm a strong believer in my faith, my whole family. Um, we believe that God definitely intervened and was watching over us um, to get us out of that car that quickly. I mean, I was probably in the car 15 seconds, and the entire time all I was thinking was this car is about to blow up. I mean, I have some gashes on my knees and on my palm. Um, probably won't play golf for a while, and I love playing golf, so... Um, softball's definitely canceled for me for the year. Um, just ribs bruised, back, you know, bruised my neck from the, the car, or from the, uh, seatbelt. My knees are cut up pretty good. And then, I mean, I didn't feel them at the time, but I have all across my leg just briar marks from running through the briars. I was holding her up and, um, all my hair was cinched off from the flames, blocking the fire from her when I was trying to get out of the car. Um, but it didn't, it didn't touch her, it didn't, didn't give me any severe burns, but all my hair on my arms was cinched on. So, what does your daughter think of all this? <laughs> I mean, she's uh, she was brave. Um, barely cried, you know, just bruised up, uh, seatbelt from the car seat, the car seat uh, rashes. Um, but we did, you know, we did everything we could at the hospital. Got checked out. They did all their tests, and she's been really brave. Um, she's probably the bravest one in the, the whole situation. Just thinking about, you know, I mean, you could see through the seat. You could be in the back seat and see the steering wheel, the dash, everything through the front driver's seat. It was completely gone. It was just the frame of it. All of the leather was gone. Oh, no cushions were left. It was just completely burnt up and, you know, seeing the, the car seat melted um, was pretty nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. um, something that I, I'm tending to... Uh, see when I close my eyes to try and take a nap or go to sleep to rest a little bit I think about what could have been but then you know I pray a little bit to God and it puts kind of a little peace over me and I'm able to move forward